I simplify the story by using only a few challenging words so the students could enjoy it. I made it entertaining by using words they were already familiar with. This made it feel like they could enjoy listening to an interesting story in English and it gave them a chance to deepen their understanding of familiar vocabulary. First, I introduced and explained the term gambler using words like cards and dice and illustrated a dice. In Japan, we also use the word gambler, which is easy for the students to understand because it's a long word from English. The word property might have been unfamiliar, but it was somewhat understandable in the context of mine, which means something that belongs to someone. Barber is another long word from English in Japanese, and despite the slight difference in pronunciation, it's comprehensible. While some words were new, I provided support and reassurance by drawing pictures and writing words on the board, ensuring they could grasp the meanings. For the word confused, even if they didn't come up with a correct translation in Japanese, I frequently used it in similar contexts and demonstrated it with my facial expression and the barber's expression on the board. When my students finished listening to the story, they exclaimed, Wow! They were amazed that a gambler could marry a princess using such a trick. Huan was lucky that the king had a sense of humor, or it was unlucky for the princess who had to marry a gambler. There were many similar incidents repeated in the story, and it seemed that it was easy to understand, so I spoke faster than usual.